So how is all of this made possible? Bitcoin solved for the first time this very uh, famous computer science problem called the Byzantine generals problem. In short, uh, and what that means for Bitcoin, it means that any two people in this room can transact in a peer-to-peer -peer nature. And if you think about all of the transactions you've done in your life to this point, that's never been true. Think about uh, transferring, let's say, $100 from your Bank of America account to somebody else. You need Bank of America in the middle as a trusted intermediary to help you perform that transaction. That's what Bitcoin removes. It removes the need for this trusted third party. So in that example, you need Bank of America to go in and say, yes, debit $100 from account A and credit $100 to account B. And what are they doing? They're going in the background to their closed proprietary ledger of transactions and making a journal entry. So what, is, what does that mean for transactions as we go forward in the world? Um, as a result, you can kind of think about Bitcoin like email for payments in a sense. It by nature is fast. It just takes a couple seconds for a transaction to, uh, to confirm. It's cheap. Since you're just moving data around, it costs almost nothing to perform a transaction. And by nature, it's international. Again, much like the internet, it's borderless by nature because you're simply altering data.